Just think about the smoke detector. It effortlessly goes about its business, ready to turn on its alarm at a moment's notice to warn us of smoke or fire. But so many people take their detectors for granted. They assume they're working, that the battery never needs to be replaced, that it is already in the best possible spot in their home. Today we pay tribute. We pay tribute to these tireless and often ignored workers that we depend upon so much. A stands for articles. As in here are some tragic articles about fire killing people in their sleep due to a non-working or non-existent smoke detector. B stands for battery. In 1969, the first battery operated smoke detector was invented by BRK Electronics. C stands for change. It's important to change the battery in your smoke detector twice a year. D is for directions. As in read all the enclosed directions before installing a new smoke detector. E equals every. For maximum protection, Place a smoke detector at every part of your home where someone sleeps. Every one of these places would be a good spot to hang a smoke detector. F equals false alarm. When a smoke detector gets a false alarm, first make sure there is no fire. Then open nearby windows to let fresh air in. You can also wave a towel near the smoke detector to clear the air and make it stop beeping. If your detector gives you a false alarm, don't disable it. Just move away from the problem area. The most common reasons for a false alarm are from cooking fumes, steam, or exhaust fumes. G stands for gas. This is not only a smoke detector, this is a carbon monoxide gas detector too. It gives your family double the protection. As if you have a hope of staying alive, then you should have a smoke detector in your home. I as in ionization. Ionization smoke alarms respond first to fast flaming fires which spread rapidly and generate considerable heat with little smoke. An ionization smoke detector is the kind most people have in their homes. J as in jammies. As in you're probably wearing your jammies when the smoke detector goes off, so you probably want to look your best. K is knowing. Knowing how to check and maintain your smoke detector will help save your life and the lives of everyone you live with at home. L stands for level. You should have a smoke detector on each level of your home. M equals money. You don't need a lot of money to buy a smoke detector. It only costs about $10, and it comes with everything you need to make it work. N stands for never, never, never remove the battery from your smoke detector. No matter how much noise it's making, no matter how much it annoys you, I know you just come with a towel and wave the towel below it and it'll clear it. But don't go up there and take the 
battery out and put it to the side because you'll forget to put it back in and then you'll have a serious problem so remember never 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 O stands for old ew if your detector is more than 10 years old it needs to be replaced with a new one P, as in photoelectronic. Photoelectronic smoke alarms respond first to slow smoldering fires, which generate thick black smoke with little heat and may smolder for hours before bursting into flames. Q means quick. As in not sleep in the home without a working smoke detector, then quit being lazy, get one, and install it as soon as possible. R equals right now. As in you need to get out right now when you hear your smoke detector go off. S equals spray. Use a spray like smoke check to see if your detector is working. You can't always tell if your detector is working if you just use the battery tester. That tells you that the battery is working, not the detector, which can get clogged with spider webs, dead insects, and dust or dirt. Simply spray the smoke detector tester into the detector. Wait a few seconds and see if the alarm goes off like this. T is for test. It's important to test your smoke detectors once a month to see if they are working. There is a fast and easy test to see if the battery to your detector is working. Test the battery by pressing the battery tester in the alarm. You see, it's easy. Simply hold down a button and within a few seconds you should hear a beep. That tells you that the battery is okay. U equals up high. Because smoke rises, hang your smoke detector up high. This will let the smoke detector go off faster, which can give you the time to take some action to save lives. V equals voice. Kids, if you're sleeping in your home without a smoke detector, use your voice to make your parents get one. Mommy, Mommy, in school today I learned about smoke detectors. We should get one or we're going to die. Very well, sweetie. We'll go out and buy one today. We also want to mention another V word, victim. Most fire victims think it will never happen to them, but it can. More than 30,000 people are seriously injured in fires in their homes every year. Statistics show that most of these fires happen in our homes between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. when people are most likely to be asleep. A John Hopkins study found that 84% of fire injuries in people's homes could have been prevented by smoke detectors. W equals waste. What a waste of human life when you see and hear about fire tragedies that could have been prevented by having a working smoke detector in the home. X is for x-ray. You should get an x-ray taken of your head if you're in a home without a working smoke detector. Y stands for you. How can we get you to listen to us to get a work and smoke detector in your home? Now! Z equals Z's, like sleep. As in we gotta catch some Z's. And we feel safe doing that because we each have work and smoke detectors in our home. Do you? Peace! Peace.